Monday firsties. We're going to do some math now. So if you can go and find the math pages that were stapled together, but not in your math book yet. And we're going to work on page 618 today. And we're going to work on page 619 today. And what we're going to do today is that we are going to use a hundreds chart to subtract tens. So last week we used our tens to add 10 more with two digit numbers. And this week we're gonna use a, a hundred chart to see how we can subtract two digit numbers that have tens in them, okay? So let's look at this together and we'll do some of them together and then you'll do the rest of them on your own and we'll check those tomorrow. But let's look at this right now. And it says, right here, you can use a hundreds chart to subtract tens, find 70, minus 20. So remember, we've done these hundred charts before in class where you find a number and you know if you go up and down, you count by tens. And if you go across, you count by ones. So we're subtracting. So when we subtract, we have to go up. Okay, because we're counting backwards. I know that sounds crazy, but that's what we do. So 70 minus 20. It says for every 10 you subtract, you move up one rep. So if I say 70 and I move up one row, I say 60, that's 10 less. And then I say 50, which is 10 more less, so 10, 20. So 70 minus 20 equals 50. So check your work. Start at 70, count backwards by 10. So I say 70, then I say 60, then I say 50. All right, so let's look and do this right here first. This is use the partial hundreds chart to subtract tens. So the first one says 40 minus 10. So I start at my 40, and when I'm subtracting, I get, gotta go backwards, so I count up. So I say 40, and I go up by 110, and I get 30. So 40 minus 10 equals 30. And then my next one says 40 minus 20. So I do the same thing. I have to say 40, 10, 20. So 40 minus 20 equals 20. Then I say 30 minus 20. So I find my 30 and the same thing. 20 is 210. So I say 30, 10, 20. So 30 minus 20 equals 10. And then I have 10 minus 10, which we all know that. When we have a whole number and we take all of it away, we're gonna have zero. So that one's kind of easy. So let's look at this. It says, do you understand? Use a hundred chart and count back by tens to solve 80 minus 50. How many tens are you subtracting? Tell how you solve. So I look right here, I did my tens cubes for 80. So I have 10, 20, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. And then I take 50 away. So again, I have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. And I take away five, I take away 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, which means 80 minus 50 equals 10, 20, 30, because I had three left. So I had, I subtracted five tens is what that means. Okay, so think about that for a minute. Replay this video, this part of it, if it gets confusing. And let's look at page 619. And we're gonna do the first couple together. Then you're gonna finish the rest on your own. Tomorrow, we'll come back and check these together. And then right here, this is your math challenge. So if you want a math challenge for the day and you wanna do some extra work because everything's so easy peasy, then you can go ahead and do those. Otherwise, we're just gonna do this part here. And that's okay if you just do this part here. Okay, so let's look at this. So this says 50 minus 10. So I'm gonna find 50 on my hundreds chart and I'm gonna go up one time. So that just means I go up one space. So 50 minus 10, I go, I count backwards, 50, 40, 
So 50 minus 10 equals 40. Then the next one says 80 minus 60. So here's my 80. Now I have to move up six spaces. So I say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Or 80, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20. Okay, so 80 minus 60 equals 20. My next one says 30 minus 20. Well, 20 means I'm going to count up two spaces, 10, 20. Okay, so I find my 30 and I count up 10, 20, or one, two. And my answer is 10. So 30 minus 20 equals 10. Now this one says 90 minus 30. So I'm gonna come up all the way to my 90 and I'm gonna count up one, two, three spaces. Or I'm gonna say to myself, 90 and count backwards. 80, 70, 60. So 90 minus 30 equals 60. What I'd like for you to do now is do number 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. Try those using this hundreds chart right here. Tomorrow, we will check over these answers together. And if you need an extra challenge or you're ready for an extra challenge, you can go ahead and do the rest of this page. All right, so we'll check our answers tomorrow firsties. Good job solving your subtracting by tens using your hundreds chart. See you tomorrow.